So how do we actually measure motivation? Motivation seems to be quite an abstract, intangible thing. How can we go about measuring it? Well, scientists have a way of doing this, which is actually quite simple. And to understand it, we need to understand the concept of conditioning. Conditioning is a form of learning. And there are two types of conditioning. There's classical conditioning. And classical conditioning is when you associate a stimulus with some sort of event. So, for example, the ringing of a bell might happen a few seconds before you're given some food. What you do doesn't affect the contingency of the food on the bell. It's outside of you. It's nothing to do with what you do. Every time the bell rings, food is presented and the conditioned response is drooling, at least if you're a dog. Some people do as well. All right, so classical conditioning, you, prevent, you present, a, you pair up two stimuli and then what happens is that the response starts off as a response to the unconditioned stimulus but then eventually you learn to respond to the uh, conditioned stimulus. So this is the conditioned stimulus and this is the unconditioned stimulus. Another type of conditioning is operant conditioning. And operant conditioning is when you're rewarded for doing something. For example, you press a lever and you get some food. And what happens is you eventually learn that by pressing the lever you get the food. So here again is the... No, that's not an unconditional, it's not a stimulus. So the point is, is that you can use operant conditioning to measure motivation. And the way you do it would be a bit like this. You might, over time, over time, what do you find? So this is maybe the um, number of, or the, the, the frequency. So this would be the, the rate of lever pressing. And what you find over time as they get rewarded, of course it increases and reaches some sort of maximum. So how would you measure motivation with that? Well, let's imagine that um, you get a, re a reward for every two presses. So you have to press the lever twice to get it. Or you might get another situation, another regime in which you get a reward for every 20 presses. You would find that you get a lower rate of learning. And so this would indicate less motivation. And you can also do things like give them a choice. Um, another alternative to this would be to give animals a choice of two places where the rat comes in here and it has uh, condition one and condition two here. This, this might be food one, this might be food two. Um, and how often, what proportion of time does the animal spend in the two arenas? Gives you an indication of, of how much motivation they have for those two different stimuli.